you ever built a ship in a Kerbal Space Program and something goes wrong and you have no idea what? My name is Dark Cloud Gaming, and here are my tips for how to build a better spacecraft in Kerbal Space Program. Tip number one, balancing. Balancing is important because if your ship is unbalanced, it will most likely tip over the higher up it gets. So in this ship, I have two mystery goo units on both sides of the ship. If they were both on one side, they will, the ship would most likely be weighed down to this one side because it is a smaller ship. And I also have thruster blocks on all four sides, so when I adjust the ship, there is equal force balancing each other out as it moves. I also have four wings on this ship, so it is balanced throughout the flight. If I only had like three, if I had three wings, it would be a little less balanced, and if it was two, it would not be that balanced. Tip number two is staging. Staging is basically the order in which things will happen during your space flight. So in this example, I have a very large rocket, which gets me to outer space. So you can see on the side, there are the little numbers that represent what's happening in this rocket. So zero through so there is n number zero, which is will be the last thing that will happen, which it should always be the parachutes when landing back at Kerbin, if you are planning to do that. And then one, two, three, four, five, and six are all your other stages. So right now, in six, we have the four solid rocket boosters at the bottom, which are the long white boosters. And then, what is going to happen after they run out of fuel, they are going to be decoupled off by the decoupler in stage five. And then in stage four, then the orange rocket will go off, lifting us up even higher. And then eventually that's going to run out of fuel. So when that runs out of fuel, then it is going to be decoupler, decoupled in stage 3. So then in stage 2, we should have another single rocket, which will be using the gray fuel tanks, which will last longer than the orange one because there are multiple of them. And... It will lift us probably into suborbit. And then once it runs out of fuel, it is going to be decoupled. And then we have the three rocket boosters on the top of the ship. And they will be launching. So then eventually they are going to run out of fuel. They are you so they are planned to be helping our landing stage. And then once they decouple off, you will have one last rocket booster at the very end that will help you slow down or get back to Kerbin. And then in the very last stage zero, your parachutes will basically be helping you slow down in the atmosphere. Staging is very important because you don't want to launch your ship and once the engines go off, the parachutes go off as well because then your ship is going to like immediately turn downwards because it is being pulled by the parachutes. Staging always goes from the highest number to the smallest number, which is zero. Tip number three, fuel conservation. Now, one thing that I use for fuel conservation is the fuel duct. The fuel duct can be attached to one, one fuel tank and attached to another. So then the engine that they are using will, 
will not use the engine it's on first, and it will use the engine that the pipe is connecting first. As you can see in this launch, it is not using as much fuel, which should go fast with this tank on the bottom, which is not being used, but being used by the top tank. This can be really helpful when spreading um, lots of tanks to the sides, you can use them first. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.